Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint your own sneaker in Photoshop so that it still looks realistic and not just kind of a sketch up of a sneaker. Um, we'll be doing this by using the pen tool, making selections around each part of the shoe separately, creating a layer for each part, and I will also give you a few tips and tricks on the best way to use the brush for this. Um, what you're going to want to start with is the background layer as a sneaker that you want to design. I'm using the Air Jordan 1. Uh, you're going to want it to be all white just so the colors that you choose will agree with the image the best. Um, as well as having a image with very high resolution so that you can see all the details in the stitching. So first you're going to want to create a new layer. I'm making a midsole layer because that is what I'm going to be demonstrating. Um, how to trace out with the pen tool here for you guys. Um, I use the pen tool just because I feel it is most accurate on a sneaker, especially when, like I said, you're going to want to use an all-white sneaker. Um, using the pen tool is better than, say, the magnet lasso or um, the other tools that may trace it out, the image trace, things like that. They just don't work as well. Um, because they're not going to want to go to the small, barely not white details. They're going to want to select the entire image, and you don't want that for um, for this. So, I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch me uh, do this in real time. So, pretty simple. Just stay along the outsides of the section of what shoe you're doing. Then as you can see you're just going to want to click on that and say make selection so that you can get the marching ants around the part that you just did. One pixels usually does the trick. So now that you have that selected you're going to want to go to your layers just make sure that you still have midsole selected for your midsole, not your background or anything. You're going to want to use your brush. I use linear burn for the mode. I've heard other tutorials say that they use something else, but I use linear burn. Also, another thing that I stay pretty consistent at is using my opacity at around 40 or 50. If you do 100 or something higher than like 60 or 70, you're going to end up taking too much detail away from the sneaker like the stitching and the creases and you just that kind of defeats the purpose of doing this whole thing you want it to look realistic and as realistic as possible so you can see there 50 looks good I'll just show you a couple other opacities so you can see how it kind of gives you more color but it takes away from the detail if you want your color to be darker just simply pick a different color, change your color up so that you can turn the opacity down and still get the color that you want to use. So, like I said, I'm going to turn it down to what I usually use. And we're going to have to undo that real quick. Hold on. And you go down. We'll just swipe that over real quick. Looks good. So that's basically it. You're just going to want to trace out whatever part you would like to do. Or if you want to do the whole shoe, do each part. I'm just going to show you guys um, one of the templates that I have that is already finished. Um, let's see, where is it at? Basically what this is that I'm going to show you is a template of the same shoe. I've just kind of fine-tuned it a little bit more. It uh, doesn't have any shadow in it. It's more upright. Uh, contrast is a little better it doesn't make much of a difference um, but as you can see it's a little bit more cleaned up and I have every section here as its own layer and we can just go along and paint each part of this speed this up so you guys don't have to watch me do that. And these are just a few other examples I have. This is my Marilyn Jordan. I kind of went with this Vanchetta Brown. I originally went with beige, but I liked this color better. The red, just to kind of signify her uh, iconic red lipstick and this silhouette of what looks like her face on the heel and the 
upper. Another is just one that I did for fun. I always kind of like an orange and blue combination, the gray just to kind of color block, and so it's not too much. But you can do this too with uh, the steps that I've showed you. You just can uh, separate each part with your pen tool, make sure it's as accurate as possible. Uh, separate all the layers so that you can easily choose them when you go back to your template and then uh, how to use a brush tool and how to make it look as realistic as possible while uh, not sacrificing the detail or the color you want to use so thanks for watching um, I will see you guys later